All right, Wedgians, we are back with another video. Um, we're gonna be looking at finishing up the last DLC quest, the last mission. That all we gotta do is kill the defeat. That we all we gotta do is kill the alien captain. Um, oh crap! And you're gonna see me die. So we'll get this out of the way. Yeah. Last video, we were very confused about how to get where we needed to go, and we finally got there. There's a whole ordeal. What happens if I just rush all the way there? Could I possibly get there? Without dying? I don't know. Whole mayhem ensues. Everybody goes nuts. I just want to see how many I... Okay, can I make it? Can I make it to the bridge? Let me make it to the bridge. So come on, let me make it to the bridge. Please? Oh, I want to make it to the bridge, please? Please let me make it to the bridge. Okay, go, 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 go get him. Okay. Uh-uh. Yeah, that's a no. We need to try something new. I did at least. I was racking my brain trying to figure out how not to get it. And you, you see it towards the end of the video, about 15 minutes left in the last episode. I just about lose it. And well, I don't scream or anything like that, but it's just like, oh, you're kidding me? My life situation. I think this just gets us to our friend back here. Well, I don't understand. Uh, how do we, like... How is he back here anyway? Okay. Maybe he's like base. Mm. Well, that's just where he ran to hide. Maybe. See. My health is already low again. Just absolutely dumb. Mm -hmm. Where's the health room? There it is. Nah, I don't have any weapons I could use that are better. ready to end this. This thing never loses ammo. I mean, never loses durability. Let's go get our friend. Let's see what he does. Can he fight? I don't know. Are they coming? I don't know if they'll fight or not. We're about to find out. He just let everything... 
He didn't do shit. Alright, well, we can't trust him. That's dumb. Those things are like little save checkpoints. Yeah, we kind of are. Do that again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, well. I honestly don't know what the best weapons are to use in the game. I've tried so many different things. I'm very hard. The health is still kind of the same. And even with 100% max skills. Okay, he's gonna show it. Trying to read something with one hand and the other. I'm not trying to make this look perfect. I promise I won't go over five or ten minutes of just re no. Five or ten minutes of just sitting there doing nothing. It might be like ten seconds. And if you do find a video. Whereas like that for 10, 20 minutes while I'm doing that, then I obviously didn't catch that and I was tired or something. I went ahead and put it in to let me know. I'll go, I'll go edit those videos and make them look better. This, this is a project for me, something fun to do, something to learn from. Record how to make a proper editing mode. I gotta go one. Yeah, if I gotta go one, one, one by one with all these guys over and over and over again, I will. Okay. You know, we let's do the saving method. Saving method gets me there. trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my send-off once I finish this quest. Uh, I want to show y'all the 
20 alien ship thing one after the other. But what am I gonna do in the meantime while it's going off, you know? Figured I might loot this place, but. That drone just sits there making fun of me. My little hole. <laughs> I'm not even to the deck yet. Like, it's right there. Oh, it's way over there. Okay. I'm not as great as I thought it was. <laughs> Jump, 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 jump down. Oh, you got me. It's okay. Lesson learned. Don't touch the aliens. Um. Oh. I like how Dad does more damage right now. And faster, we're gonna do it. Alright. I think they all started walking back to where they were. Take your money. Hold on. Okay. Okay, we can't be in this room. Hold on. Wait. Stop shooting. Let's stop shooting. Okay, you can't. Look, not trust it. Can't. Run, 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 run. Up, 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 up. Down the hole. Missed. Base. so much damage, I don't understand. I mean, look at me. I'm having to sit right next to the base. Jesus. This is all just for a couple of them. Like... Charge, please. Thank you. Could 
you. Right here. All right, this is where the captain is. You have a save right there. final stand. Skyfire reporting for duty. I think I have that ship targeted, but you'll have to fire. Skyfire rip What I gotta do? Shit, where did that come from? Wow, this looks just like the bridge on Captain Cosmos. I Soma, you go stand over there. Mr. Elliot, you're there. I've got a lock 
on their ship. Fire when ready. It looks like they're on the ship. for a big shot. Damn it, this field will back up in mass. Something like this. or something to restart the generators. Okay. Looks like it's working. Keep up whatever you do. I'm here. Uh, I don't know what to do. gets rough. It blew it up. It blew it up real nice. Now let's do some finishing touches. May even go. Now what I do? Now go talk here. stay here for a while. I don't think I like it much down there anymore. And there's still a... I'll tell you what. If I find anything real... I'll... So... No. Hey, I thought you should know someone must have hit a button during the fight just now. If I understood the display correctly, I think we sort of launched a homing beacon of some kind down to the surface. Landed just outside DC. I wouldn't mention it, except that I think 
Like I said, I'm not sure. I think it's a way to get back to Earth. Seems like there's a teleporter in the captain's quarters. I mean, I guess they're your quarters now. So I, I guess you can go home if you want. Oh, don't worry, I, I'll stick around up here and keep an eye on things. Okay. That's it. And barrel weapons. Take me on the way back. It does. I think this takes me back to the old home. I'll take a look in just a second. I'll see exactly where this takes me now. I think this is where I started. things right over here. Oh man, what do you know? We did it. We did it. Now it's just about looting the whole place. Let's see if I can't get everything all the way over to make it some before we do it. Oh, final. Shout out. Oh man. Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and start these notes. Start with one. There it is. What? Talk into this thing? Just talk? I, I don't have to do anything else? Uh, Ow! Alright! Ow! I said alright, just stop! Hello. Um, hello. My name is Andrew Endicott. On the night of May 17th, the year of our Lord 1697, I was... I was taken from my home in Salem Village. I... I do not know where I am, exactly, or why I came to be here. I've seen through... windows. Stars, sun, sun, and beloved Earth. Down there, below me. So it would seem I am aboard some vessel. Suspended in the ether. Ironically, it seems so close to where I thought heaven must surely lie. But this is not heaven, and my captors are not angels. I'm not entirely unconvinced that the scripture is wrong, that heaven and hell are reversed. For my captives are devils. Demons from my nightmares. Even now, they watch me, make me talk. They seem to want me to tell my story. I know not why. A record of their deeds, perhaps? Or am I just a pawn in some, some evil game? And there are others, other captives, I mean. From whence they came, I cannot say. Some wear strange dress, as if they're from a different time. And some are frozen, as in ice, unmoving, but I think alive. I believe they plan the same fate for me. Will I be frozen too? Will I... Ow! Stop it! I did what you said. You wanted me to talk, so I talked. Just leave me. Just leave me be. That's one. Let's do the next one. We gotta find recording number two. You know, I didn't even find number 25. Uh, I'm a little sad. Alright, no, there's 25. Okay, we're good. 
What? What the fuck is this thing? Is that some kind of Martian sex machine, you sick fuck? Oh no, no way! Ah! God damn it! Fucking crazy ass moon man! Go ahead! Do your worst! God! Jesus H! Do you not get it, Space Cadet? I do not fucking understand what you want me to do! This thing? This? What? Talk! I am talking! What do you want me to say? Blah, 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 yakety yakety. That's all you assholes can say? Spacemen with all the science? And you can't even speak fucking English? Okay, how about this? My name is Ben. I am on a fucking UFO. I'm from Flatbush, and I want to get home. Can I get a taxi, please? How's that, huh? That work for your starstruck? <laughs> what? Don't you raise that fucking thing to me again. No, you're gonna hit me again? Is that... <laughs> ah, son of a... Why don't you go back to Uranus, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That was two. <laughs> Let's go number three. You know, I get... Yes, yes, I understand. I I've seen the others. I I'll do what you want. This is Dr. Morrison Rand, professor of anthropological archaeology at College, Humboldt, Oregon. Shortly after 10 p.m. on August 16th, 1941, as I was leaving the college campus, headed to my car, I saw a blinding light. It just appeared in the sky, directly over me. I was blinded. I also found my body completely immobilized. I, I couldn't move. N not at all. What happened next is hazy. I don't remember much. What became clear later? What is certainly clear now is that I was abducted. And now the captive of an alien race, one of many people held here against our will. And like those others, I am recording who I am. Why? Because the aliens want us to for some reason. They have us do it right before they put us into some kind of suspended animation. These recordings, it's almost as if we're creating our own library catalog entries or we get put into a giant collection the entire experience would be fascinating if i weren't so completely terrified uh, what stop you want me to stop now all right all right see i'm stopping <coughs> that was three scientists all right Number four. Oh, I see. Like a tape recorder, right? You just want me to talk. I can do that, certainly. Hello there. I'm Madeline Wallace. Of the Cincinnati Wallaces? Well, I'm here on this rocket ship. I'm with the strange men, the spacemen, the ones who brought me here. My entire family is on board, actually. My husband, Roy, my daughter, Margaret, and my son, Arthur, as well. Oh, you should see Arthur. He's so excited. He says this is much better than the things they show on the Captain Cosmos. And I have to say, I agree. Everything is so fantastical. I can only hope I'll catch him talking with Uncle Sam. Because with these doohickeys, we'd have the red speed in no time. <laughs> hmm? oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir. I'm doing my best. I really don't know what you want me to say. 
So whoever will listen to this recording, I would just like to say that if you find yourself in the same boat as the Wallaces, don't be afraid. I'm not entirely sure what our hosts want, but the situation has been entirely acceptable. We have been treated fairly. Anyway, the spaceman is waving his little electrical stick thingy. So I think I'm done. Goodbye. Where's my wife? Where's my boy? What have you done with him? When I get free, so help me God, I'm gonna kill number five. every last one of you. Ah! What are you doing? What the hell do you want with us? Let me go! Now that must have been his wife. His, her, her, her husband. Oh shit, oh shit, 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 shit. Ah! Just let me go, okay? This is crazy. This is like batshit unbelievable crazy. I didn't do anything! I don't know what you want with me. Cause of Anchorage, I swear. I didn't even want to be there, man. You gotta believe me. I didn't even want to be out in the field. I was hoping for a job in Washington, you know? <laughs> what? What do you want? I don't understand. Why is this happening to me? Hmm. Number six. Here's number seven. <laughs> These four are captives that would help me fight. The Chinese guy never really did anything. The samurai. Sorry. Number eight. This is this is incredible. I'm I'm Colonel Hardigan of the United States Air Force. Uh, what? I don't understand. Oh, what, speaking to this? Yes. I was saying, I'm Colonel Hardigan, United States Air Force. Our nation has been conducting manned space flight tests. <laughs> I'm sorry, you'll have to forgive me. Frankly, we never expected to meet you all. I'm sure there's a great deal that our two species can learn. <laughs> Ow! Ow! What the hell? What is this? What are you doing? Yeah. Alright, number nine. Oh, what are you doing to me? What's that thing? Get it out of me! Please! <laughs> All right, number ten. I can't feel my legs. What did you do to my legs? Frank, I can't see you. <laughs> Private Lawrence Mears, U.S. Army Medic, serial number 3476511. Private Lawrence Mears, U.S. Army Medic, serial number 3476511. But you can do whatever you want to me. I'm not taking Jack. Stick it where the sun don't shine. Oh, my shit. Private Lawrence Mears. U.S. are a med medic. Alright, number 10. 
number 11, number 12. All the way down there. All right. Where am I? Where's my sister? I can hear some weird noises, but I can't see you. Why is it so dark in here? What's this machine? Please, someone talk to me. I want to go home. Please. Where's my mommy and daddy? I just want to go home. Oh, right. Girl's name? I don't know the girl's name. Thirteen. Hey now, no reason to get yourselves worked up. Whatever you need, I'm going to tell it to you. Well, I'm pretty sure you want me to talk into this thing, so here goes. My name is Giles Walstoncroft. I'm the current assistant chief executive officer of the Vault Tech Corporation. Inspecting the construction site of Vault 76 when I was captured what I can only assume are alien beings from another world. I'm not sure what they want from me or what they will do to me. Whatever they need, I will readily provide. Perhaps I can bridge our communication gap and establish a rapport with them. We can enter into an exclusive trade agreement. In fact, Instead of talking to this damn machine, I'm going to attempt to address them directly. On behalf of the vault -Tec Corporation, I'd like to extend a heartfelt welcome to you. Wait, you don't need that. Wait. Okay. Thirteen... We're on fourteen. There it is. What are we gonna do? They just threw me in the cell view after they poked and prodded me, and now I just hope they won't kill us. Just take it easy. If they wanted us dead, we'd be dead. They must need something from us. Yeah, they need us for food or something. You saw that guy. He was all cut open, like he'd been butchered. Oh my god, we're gonna be next. Hey, I said calm down. If they hear you, they may come for us. Try and take it easy. No! Get us the hell out of here! Someone get us out! Please! I said to shut up! I'm sorry, I'm sorry I did that. Please forgive me, but we need to keep our heads on straight if we're going to survive. Please, please. I just want to go home. I just want to go home. Poor girl. Alright. Fifteen. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. I demand to see whomever's in charge. Yeah, yeah, I you know. Ow! What the You have any idea who you're dealing with? Yeah, my ah, you get not. Ow! Stop it! I am a US Senator and I warn you, if any harm comes to me, hey, you'll bring the full wrath of the U.S. military upon yourselves. What? Where are you taking me? Get your goddamn hands off me! You'll all pay for this. The U.S. doesn't bargain with aliens! Hmm. President? I don't know. Senator. Senator something. I'm Holly Beresford, a linguistic specialist for the USSA. I think I'm beginning to understand you, but you need to stop shocking me. Damn, I wish you could understand me. Do you understand? That's it, you get it. I mean you no harm, I just want to learn how to speak with you. Then perhaps we can discuss what you need from us. Yeah, 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 but, uh, 
What are you doing with that needle? No, get it away from me. No, please. We can be friends. You don't need to. Ugh. Welcome aboard. All right. Number <clears throat> 17. All right, world map. We're gonna go Megaton. I'm also gonna go to Fort Constantine real quick and just, I don't have Crowley's keys, but I'm gonna go ahead and lock, and lock them here in a second. I wanted to get to that armor for some time. Uh, notes, 17, we're on 18. Just wait until I tell Marsha and Karen about this. Imagine! I'm actually on a spaceship! Oh! They're pointing at... Oh! Oh, talking to this? What is this? Is this the space phone? Hey, Marsh, this is Janet. You will never guess where I am. Never. Oh! I wish I could hear you, but I'll just tell you. I'm in space! I was driving along the highway when there was this light. And suddenly, I'm on this real spaceship. No joke! Now these little green men are making all these noises and pointing at stuff trying to talk to me. I bet I'm the first one they've met. So I figure I'll talk with them a while, then I'll join you later. And I can tell you all about it over lunch. Oh, I only had my camera. Well... They're pointing at some table with all sorts of gizmos sticking out of it. Gotta go. Kisses. Hmm, she's a little special. Let's do number 819. This is my final message. If this doesn't work, I hope someone gets this recording and can bring it back to Earth. I've been able to figure out how to use some of the alien devices, like this recorder. And I think I know what they want with our world. They mean to take as many of us as they can and change us into some sort of abomination. Many of us have been killed because of their experiments. They've been keeping us in cells and then moving us one by one to their experimentation lab. I've managed to escape, but they are looking for me. You've got to send help up here. As far as I can tell, they're never going to stop until they've captured hundreds, maybe thousands of us. Good news is that they're totally reliant on technology. Without it, they're no tougher than you or A small, well-equipped force could take this ship and free all the prisoners on board. That's your best chance. Okay, number... <clears throat> Where are we on? 19? We need 20? Oh, man, what did you... What? Why can't I feel my arms? Wait, I uh. my arms? What did you do? Oh, God, put them back! Put, put them back on! I got... Twenty-one. 
21. Hello, Mr. Alien. Yeah, I know. I'll pop into the thing. I don't know why you brought me back here. We've done this a whole bunch of... Hey! Giddy up Buttercup! Wow! I always wanted one of those. Why do you have one? I don't understand. What do you want? It's a toy. A toy! Why are you so excited? You're weird. Alright, and... 22? Do I have 22? Yeah, there's 22. Oh, no way. No way! This is a bad dream, right? I'm dreaming. Shit. So what? I'm being held hostage now or something? I'm some kind of prisoner? Listen, if this is because of what we did, I just work for those guys, okay? It's not like I enjoyed it. I was just in it for the caps, all right? Can I go now? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know. All right, uh, and then number 23. All right, here we go. We have to backtrack and grab number 23. Because I didn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Please, just let, let me go. All right. Let's go with number 24. <laughs> And now, uh, last and final recording. Oh man, I've seen this on TV. You're going to eat me, aren't you? I'd like some sort of delicacy on your planet, right? Right? Well, I hope you choke. I hope you stump your stupid little green faces. Choked to death. Unless this is like that other show where I get put in some sort of weird alien zoo. Uh, that might be okay. Alright, that is all of the alien recordings. And uh, now that I have that done, I can go back to my autosave here. We're gonna go back to what we were trying to do a second ago to see if we can't get ourselves inside here. I got like another 10 minutes I can put on the here. Uh, we lost Mr. Crowley way early on in the game um, due to some key issues. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to just cheat in. I'm going to unlock. I'm not going to save it for my save, but I'm going to allow y'all to see this. We need to find the basement. Unlock. sleep on the cot. I don't understand why you can't sleep on the cots. It's a bed. We're just gonna make our way like this. Open up anything we can along the way. Nothing else really here. Hostile detected. 
Big book of signs, look at that one. All right. That was the one that I had trouble collecting for the skill box early on. Looks like we found it finally. We'll just take this. All right, the bomb storage, unlock. Somebody over on this side. We needed from Terra earlier. Unlock. And here's that room with a fat man and a DC journal medicine. Yes, it is. All right. Well, let's see what's in here. I don't know what that did. Let's go ahead and go on out here. Like I said, we're just gonna show you all around. Alright. Oh, lots of ammo in this <coughs> room. That's not bad. Capital Wasteland, Capital Wasteland, Capital Wasteland. Yeah. There's probably a room back there somewhere. But I don't know is where Crowley is. Cause Crowley never ended up being in here. I'm a little surprised. Is this bomb storage? Yeah, it is. But yeah, he never ended up being down here. There's supposed to be armor down here and there's not. Take a look at that. We're going to look at it right now for side quests. Um, you gotta shoot him in the head. Is I think what was. Well, does that mean he's got the armor, I guess? Okay. Where is it? Because it's not here. Oh, where is it? Alright, well. I guess Mr. Crowley took it, so... We're done with all the DLC, main story, side quests, and 
all the DLCs, main story side quests, all the main story of the game. Every quest is done. We have max stats, we have max skills. Our Fallout 3 is complete. It's been an interesting little journey. Um, find out for yourself what maybe I'm missing. I just don't see the armor for some reason. You need the keys. You need all the keys for that Mr. Crowley quest. You can't let him leave with them. And his second best armor in the game, I think the Operation Anchorage is first because it doesn't deteriorate. Um, honestly, don't go collecting. Just kind of play the game however you want to play it. Explore. Don't even follow quests, I should say, because it can be fun just randomly, random encounters. Uh, I don't know if I, I think I'm going to be doing my Borderlands content next. We'll see. Um, I, got, I still have to put all the videos up after, as of this point, maybe another 20 videos to put together. If you stuck with us this far, thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope there was some fun, maybe some crazy. Maybe you were thinking, hey, why didn't you get that? Why didn't you do this? I was just going with it and trying to complete stuff. So enjoy. It was my first project. Thank you for being here. Like and subscribe. And I will see you next time in the next video. Okay, I had to show you this. I found Crowley. He's back where you originally got the quest for him. He's wearing the T-51 armor and just chilling. Um, I don't think I can pickpocket him. I can take it. Oh, I can take it. Uh, I can take the helmet. There's the keys. He still has everything on him. And I probably have to kill him. To take, yeah. Uh, Alright. Save. Let's actually see what happens if I kill him. find out what happens. I'm leaving. I'm I don't think they're coming. I don't know what's gonna happen now. Over here. But one last adventure you guys. We're gonna see what happens if I disappear. Maybe you can't kill Crowley later. You can kill the whole underworld if you feel like it. I wanna see if you can save the underworld. Are they gonna chase me? Alright, let's see what happens in a couple days. We'll just wait. My game's done. I don't have any more quests. I don't care what happens to anybody. I may go kill everybody. I don't know. I just wanted you all to see. Y'all remember me spending hours. If you've watched all my videos, you've seen me spend hours trying to figure out that Fort Constantine. Crowley, I could have still gotten it done. So... We'll save it right here and take a look. Here we go. Are they shoot on sight? Ha. Uh huh. Ha ha. Ha ha. All right. Well, there you go. You can just kill him and disappear. Let him do the adventure. No. I finished.